my heart. This experience was everything and more. It was probably one of the best experiences of my life, honestly. And I'll see you guys at the end. So guys, bear with me. I accidentally filmed the beginning of this video in slow motion. I'm doing a little voiceover here. So this is on the way to Changdao. Changdao is about an hour and a half drive from Chiang Mai. So it's really amazing because it's super close compared to Pai and Chiang Rai. Pai is a very windy drive and it's about two to three hours away and Chiang Rai is about three hours away. So Qingdao is close enough. You can go for one night and not feel like you're having to do a super long road trip. You start to feel like you're far away without being too far away you know what i mean when we arrived it was lunchtime and so she had us meet her at this restaurant and we didn't even know what we were going to see when we pulled up and when we pulled up to this view and this scenery we were just so excited we both really needed this getaway it was the perfect scenery to see on arrival <laughs> I mean, is this not the perfect place to just chill and take a nap? But you can also sit here at the tables, get your food out here or have a coffee. Honestly, these kind of places are so magical to me. I feel like when I'm sitting at this kind of a restaurant, I could actually just sit here for hours and take it all in, which is kind of what we all did. This is her the queen herself. <laughs> She's really one of those souls that makes you feel at home from the moment you meet her. And I think those kind of people are so special. Making a stranger feel at home right away is just the best feeling in the world. So I ordered a coffee with coconut water, which is my absolute favorite kind of way to get coffee. And it's so hard to find, but it's so good because you're kind of getting hydrated while having coffee and the coconut water just makes it so refreshing. And then I just went coconut crazy and I got a fresh coconut also had to do it. So the rest of the group here, they are all from China. And this couple specifically, they are both teachers. Again, I'm so sad I don't have the sound on this, but they're both teachers and they have a summer break. And so they decided to come to Thailand. And this other couple was from China as well. I don't know, they were such an incredible group. We ended up spending so much time all together and by the end of the time, like we all felt bonded in a way, even with the language barrier. And I think that's the beautiful thing about people coming from all over the world. We're able to share this experience together and become closer and feel so bonded just from this experience. All right, so this is the food right here. We both got cashew chicken and it was so, so, good my friend also got an omelet as well i got double chicken because i needed the extra protein and then we also got a tiramisu for dessert and my friend is from italy and she absolutely loved it this place is highly recommended we both loved it so hello everyone this is idan uh i am currently living in Chindao right now for one and a half years and i am chinese but i've been living in thailand for over like five years uh, so right now I own a farm stay over here and uh, it's nice to have Tiffany over and she stayed at my farm uh, yesterday. So basically our goal about the farm is to build a community for the people who's either like working remotely or who's uh, traveling in a very slow pace. Like they want to settle down, live somewhere for a couple months and get to really know the really authentic local culture, tradition and also to like have activities with uh, like-minded people together and uh, right now we are open our guest houses for about half a year already but this year we're going to build the actual nomad space with like a co-working space event space cafe and farm to table restaurant so hopefully next time when you come we can have the whole setup uh, for people like tiffany and for people who really have a free soul want to work and travel at the same time and meanwhile having the whole nature surrounding them and with all the animals keep them company. Just had lunch and we're just gonna pay right now and head to this indigo workshop. So I'll see you guys there. All right, you guys, so we just arrived at the indigo workshop. It's called Studio Indigo Blue Changdao and I'll show you guys. Plum, uh, 
we, we took from the mountain in Qingdao area and it is homemade. Perfect. Yeah, Thank you. the receipt is from Japan. <laughs> oh, I should show you something. I want you to guess. Oh. Oh my you know, God. what would be the ingredient you think that this color? This color? Stone. You, you can tell this. Stone. 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 Wow. The, the hot spring. So you got it from them. the river, the stream. Oh, you ground okay. it. Oh. oh, look at this. She could do this real quick, like in 15 minutes. Oh, this wow. is so cute. Look. I use hammer to, to smash it. The, yeah, okay. on, the, on the linen fabric. And later, I will, I will uh, let everybody to use the indigo paste to paint on the watercolor paper. Fantastic. And after that, we go to the dyeing the fabric to yeah. pieces, okay? <laughs> Mine is really representative of my brain compared to everybody else's. Wow! Oh. The, the different cosmos. <laughs> this yeah. one and that one different. <laughs> wow. Oh, good job. Alright, so we just finished. We have our bag of our scarves. We made a bandeau, some art. How did you like it? It was amazing. It was such a like relaxing yeah. meditation and yeah. disconnecting. Yeah. Thank okay. you. <laughs> uh, from you started three years ago. Ah uh, yes, I, I start my my uh, dye studio uh, three years ago. And also at the same time, I rent a paddy fields and I start uh, planting the indigo dye. Uh, no, indi indigo plants too, because uh, when we when we live here, this is perfect for us to do uh, to do like in sustainable way. Yeah. Uh, we can we can uh, secure uh, from from raw materials yeah. by yourself. My studio is in downtown. This is totally impossible. Yeah. But here. It's impossible. Yeah. yeah. Ah, it's, it's, it's possible. possible. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Wow. I wanted to ask you. So you were living in Chiang Mai before. Yeah. I lived one year in Chiang Mai, um, and then I was like exploring places around Chiang Mai, and then I bumped into Chengdao. I just really fall into uh, fall in love with uh, the nature here, but also the community here. Like we do have a um, small aspect community. Uh, people are doing different business. Very 
fast paced kind of job. So you never get a moment to actually stop and thinking about like, what am I doing for? Like, why am I doing this? Yeah. And what is the value behind this? So that was like opportunity for me to finally really stop and to question about really important things. Not that hard. Like we just we were just talking about like there are so many things you just really scared of the unknown. Like the, the part that you worry about is the part that you don't really know what's um, gonna happen exactly. Yeah. But once you started, you already kind of have this initial kick. Yeah. And the yeah. things just kind of keep happening for me mm -hmm. for you like automatically. A carnival that started yesterday and look at the sunset right now ยังไม่ก่อนนะจ๊ะนิดเดียวจ้ะอะไรจ้ะหมายเลขอะไรจ้ะหมายเลขสิบเอ็ดจ้ะสิบเอ็ดได้เล่าจ้ะได้เล่
order for something new to come, something old must go. And that old can sometimes mean let go of what you know until now. Empty the cup and start from the beginning. It's not easy to do, but at the moment it's the only way how something that is blocked can be brought back to movement. You must spill the old tea and pour in new one. Then things look different. for watching i hope you love this video if you haven't already make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel it means the world to me thank you Aiden, for having me for this entire experience thank you to everybody that was there that weekend and thank you Chang dao so 